the furniture up against the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Cleveland, Ohio, the Becker and Hayes Real Rock and Roll Party! I've always been a man who likes big hair. Lots of hair. Big hair. <laughs> sure. Yeah, man. I li- I, I've always been a man who likes big hair, baby. What is your problem? I only have one thing to say about my friend Bob Becker. Ow. I love this guy's head. Thank you very much. Hi, neighbor. This is Bobby, and I'm listening along with millions of people just like you to Becker and Hayes. Sweet dreams are made of these. In the 1990s, Bob Becker and Luther Hagues changed the face of American radio. You want to be stupid in the United States, you have the right. Ronald Reagan. What's your name, son? Uh, Luther Hagues. Luther Hagues. Uh Yes, your dad worked for me, Alexander Hagues. He's a great great American. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to listen to this story now. Hmm. Iron Butterfly flying again. In a God of the Vita, baby. Who is their lead singer, Mr. Magoo? And a boy, Luther! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who Mary Lou Henner is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mary Lou Henner. Whoa. Well, now all these Arabs are lining up, all these, all these wads, one in a row. They all want to get a little bit of this goat fluid. This guy is making a hundred and wads. Fi- is that like a, a certain sect in the the wad sect? <laughs> I am member of the wad. This sect. guy is I making am a wad. <laughs> These little guys. This guy is making Are a hundred and fi- a wad. <laughs> Do you know who Mary Lou Henner is? <laughs> Whoever likes the Becker and Hag show, they've got to like crap. <laughs> Hey, gang, this is Big Chuck. Whenever I can, I listen to Booker and Hoags right here on... Hey, it's Becker and Hags. Becker and Hag. Of course, I knew that. Becker, Becker and Hags. <laughs> so anyway, a gentleman passed away Friday. A gentleman who we all know and we all love. And his two most best known of all his characters, of course, are Frosty the Snowman. Tell you something, boy. I still have a feeling for women and I'm 65. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't a snowman. Was that Frosty the Snowman? What a dope. Now, here's some here's some strange rock and roll bizarre facts, though. Yes. Kurt Cobain was 27 years old when he died. Take a guess, my friend, as to the age of Brian Jones, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and Jim Morrison when they all died. Were they all 27? They were all oh, 27. No. What does it mean? Does it? They were all 27 years old. Well, don't you find that just a little <laughs> bit odd? A little bit strange? Very strange. Did you say they died all when they were 27? That is exactly <laughs> what I said. <laughs> they all had J in their name. Ooh. But, uh, what about Jim Neighbors, see? He lived through that era. He didn't die. <laughs> what about Jay North? Could you just do something to Jay- help me once in a while? Hello, Bamboo Wing. Yeah, hi. I'd like to place an order for, for some uh, Egg Foo Young and some uh, vegetable fried rice. Hello, what's your name? My name is Heggs, Luther Heggs. What you want? Egg Foo Young? Yeah, Egg Foo Young. We and have so- Egg Foo Young for you here. Okay, what's your name? Luther Heggs. Heggy, what's your name? We don't have rice. <laughs> Forget it. I'll just call someplace else. I'll get it someplace else. Just okay. forget it. All right. Have a good day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Luther, Luther's getting to the age now where he thinks that Granny on the Beverly Hillbillies was kind of a babe. <laughs> I like Freddie and the Dreamers. Yeah. Speaking of nitwits, having some lean times there at the old National Rifle Association. Yeah, I happen to have some audio tape of their last big meeting. <laughs> then what you got here, nitwit, you... NRA. I didn't know that Mo was a member of the NRA. <laughs> Isn't this silly? Here we are, two grown-up men acting like a couple of children. You just never know where the conversation is going to go with Becker and Heggs. <laughs> You're great, Luther. Why do men have nipples? Duh. I've always told you this. People love crap. Oh, whoever likes the Becker and Heggs show, they've got to like crap. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Thank you. Of course, you know who that is, don't you? The two. I thought that was Lawrence Walk. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy, that's funny. I think you needed a little whipped cream on your head today to happy you up. Whoever heard of putting whipped cream on your head?
It is a cerebral show, the Becker and Hag show, and some people have confused us with National Public Radio on occasion. <laughs> Speaking of nitwits, let us not forget our good friend Rush Limbaugh. Ring his doorbell instead of a bell. Feed me! Feed me! <laughs> uh-huh. I'm hungry! <laughs> Somebody's going to get you guys. Yeah. Boy, that is a dash darn good music now. We are really rocking here on Becker and Higgs radio program. Just going through some of my notes here, and I just saw the page five girl on the Weekly World News. She's uh, so healthy this week, she's actually taking up pages five and six. <laughs> you know, so far we've been on the air for about five minutes. We really haven't said anything or done anything. The fuck? Hi, this is Louise Mandrell. And I love waking up on Saturday mornings with Becker and Hayes. Hubba hubba. <laughs> we gonna do a, a movie mystery or music mystery? Uh, we can. Hey. I've got both. I hey, got hey, both, babe. All right, get your dialing fingers ready, folks. Five seven eight eleven hundred one eight hundred four seven seven W W W W E. You lame brain. Oh. And remember Peter Jennings? Oh, God. Remember Peter Jennings on that satellite oh. broadcast where they accidentally caught him on television? Nah. Blowing his nose? Nah, nah. Well, guess what his doorbell would sound like. <laughs> <laughs> that is great radio. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hair, but now Harrison Ford <laughs> wishes that he were bald. Oh, my neck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a night. Nice. Oh, man. That, that's one of the, the coffee came up my nose. Nah. I mean, what? Hey, you guys are pretty cool. I got to listen to you all week, man. You guys are all right. That is great radio. He is a hep cat, man. And we're hep cats, too. You suck. When I was 21, I thought the greatest band in the world was Slade. Do you remember Slade? You always have sucked. Nah. I mean, making... what? Bob Becker and Luther Hayes. <laughs> Do you have any callers for your little contest over there? The yeah, little yeah, case. Yeah, plenty of callers. The little case. But these, but these stories are so good, and everything is so funny. I just like. I'd like to hear another one. You know, you do have a nicely shaped head. My, what a beautiful head of bone you have. Yes. <laughs> My name is Bob. Nah. My name is Bob. <laughs> 